Hey everyone, welcome back to Sweepy TV. I'm your host, Sienna Leone, and today we are at the Chinese Theater in Hollywood, California for the last and final season of Star Trek Picard. Let's go see who we catch on this carpet. Third and final season, Star Trek Picard. How are you feeling? My heart is gonna explode. Really grateful, truly blessed to be part of this amazing series of this iconic cast. Yeah, I mean, pumps! Yes. Just pumps! <laughs> Fantastic, yes. excited, iconic, all the, all the, all the adjectives. Uh, nervous now. 1987 is when the first pilot season of Star Trek aired crazy and over the years, you played 10 seasons of Jean-Luc Picard. So what are you gonna miss? I'm sure this is this bittersweet goodbye. It's not, no, no. But you're done. <laughs> For one thing, there is no bitterness about it whatsoever. It, it's all been sweet, hard work sometimes, and sometimes there have been conflicts. Right. But it's all been for the very, very best reason. And I, uh, I am simply not going to accept that we're saying goodbye. Um, I think there's still too much potential. Now, the OG cast. I mean, yes. wow, wow, wow. How blessed to learn from the best, to just absorb from the best. Yeah. How was it working with them, and what's the biggest thing you took away? Ooh. Be kind and be cool, because they were, and they included us, and they made us feel like we belonged. And when you're new and you feel like you're in this like iconic environment, it's easy to feel like you don't belong, and they welcomed us in. So I want to do the same whenever I'm in that position. Um, aside from like professionalism, but just on a human nature, I mean, they're genuinely good people. Yeah. I mean, I was telling some people earlier, but like LeVar and Mika Burton, like they invited me to Thanksgiving. Like wow. I didn't have anywhere to go, and they were like, you're actually family outside of Star Trek too, so come on over. So That's having special. that. Congratulations. Thank I mean, you. wow. Beverly Crusher, tell us what she's coming back, bringing to this series. Well, she's bringing some gray hair, and uh, she's older, but much wiser. She's fierce, um, and she's not afraid of conflict. She's been on her own for quite a while, and she's been out doing sort of a Doctors Without Borders, but in the planetary way. So she's an adventurer and an explorer, as well as a scientist uh, and a doctor. So um, that's what you're going to hopefully see. And I hope you love it as much as we loved doing it, because I think, it's a, I think Terry Metalis did a phenomenal job. I think it's a great story, and the writers really came up with something special. Star Trek, the diehard fans that have followed this for years, but also you guys are bringing a new generation of Star Trek fans along in this series. So what can they be expecting in the third and final series? Well, I think it's it's what they used to talk about when, when we started is that they're handing off the torch to a younger generation. Right. Um, but I like the idea that they still need us. And uh, yes, they do. You know, it's a 10 hour movie. It is an epic 10 hour movie that uh, celebrates all the things that Star Trek is, which is relationships, uh, problems, and, and uh, antidote to cynicism, all wrapped in a package of spaceships and laser guns and all of aliens, all of the stuff that Star Trek is, and, and, and done with such care and affection by these legendary actors. It's a, a passing of the torch from the last generation to the next, as it should be, um, and it's deeply personal. They can expect uh, the next next generation to see a lot more of us. Uh, they can expect a nice button, a nice finish for each character. I feel like each character has a really nice arc um, this last season to make all of the fans really, really satisfied. So after 36 years, you see all the fans there. They love you guys, diehard fans. Do you have a memorable fan interaction that you can tell us? You'd have to ask me again at the end of the season. Okay. There, there is a scene. There's a scene we shot this season that's like when you see it, but it hasn't aired yet, so I can't talk about it. But. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna come hunt you down. Whenever we go to the conventions, someone will come to us and say that somehow Star Trek changed their lives, either how they've decided to become an engineer or an astronaut, or I've survived PTSD, or all. You know, there's there's a lot of positives that the show has 
given a lot of people. I was in Las Vegas and they had a Klingon party where everybody was dressed up. I mean, everybody, like, you know, I don't know, 150 people were dressed up. And this one guy comes up to me and he's full, make up everything. And he has a sword and he says, I want to tell you something. I said, what's that? He says, years ago, he had lost everything. He literally lost his family, lost his job. He was like on his last legs. And for some reason, he watched the show and he thought about Warp because Warp is an outsider and he's always struggling. Right. And for some reason, he said, I just got the, the courage to start all over again. And he has job, family, doing very well. And I said, you know, you did it on your own. You know, this was, I'm glad that you think so, but it all comes from you. And he says, oh no, and I, so I accepted that. And that was, that was something I'll always remember, always. All the fun stuff, really quick though, the fans want to know a message to all those that have been following along, loving you, loving your character, what do you have to say? Thank you for welcoming me this far, thus far. Um, I can't wait to make you proud. Uh, I've heard really good things so far, people who have seen the show, and they've been raving, so thank you so much. There you go, congratulations. Go enjoy tonight. What a carpet that was. We caught up with the original cast, and we caught up with some of the newbies. But that's it from the blue carpet here at the Chinese Theater. Make sure you guys are tuning in to the last and final season of Star Trek Picard, which premieres on Paramount Plus February 16th. As always, I'm your host, Sienna Leone, and we will see you guys next carpet. Bye, everyone.